Welcome to Web Development with Angular 2 and Bootstrap, authored by Taryn Sharma by Pact Publishing. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I'm Tori Clark, and I would be the voiceover artist for this course. I'm going to stay along with you in this video course. Taryn Sharma has an IT experience of five years in front-end design and development and Java applications. He has been working with Angular projects since the last three years and also contributing to open source community projects related to front-end libraries. He's a developer and publisher. Also, he does screencasting and shares knowledge in the JavaScript community. He also has a YouTube channel, also where you can find good learning videos. In this course, we are going to cover Angular 2.0 application development with Bootstrap. This is the very first video in which we'll get an overview of the entire course. You will look at the course as a whole and on topics of each section. The course is divided into 10 sections. The source code for each section can be found in the corresponding section in the Git repository. Here is the link, https colon slash slash github.com slash tkssharma slash web development with Angular 2 and Bootstrap. This course is all about learning the concepts of Angular 2 with Bootstrap and learning new technologies coming with Angular 2.0. In the first section, we'll get started with learning how to do a proper setup for writing a Hello World app using TypeScript and ES6, and we'll also explore other ways to write Angular 2.0 code. In section 2, we will look at Bootstrap components and style library, and we'll do the setup for Bootstrap application and we will build the core layout of a responsive application. In Section 3, we will be writing our first Angular 2 reusable component with ES6 syntax using TypeScript, and we'll also check how to write the same code using ES5. We'll talk about Universal Module Loader System JS and NPM Package Manager with building blocks of Angular 2.0, like Component, View, and Directive. In Section 4, we will deal with Angular 2.0 concepts like component communication, two-way data binding, and TypeScript annotations. In Section 5, we would discuss about Angular 2 modules, components, templates, metadata, and architecture. And in Section 6, we will discuss about how dependency injection allows us to inject dependencies in different components across our applications. In Section 7 and 8, we will talk about navigation and component router, dependency injection and forms validation, and interacting with HTTP server. In further sections, we will talk about reactive programming in Angular 2.0 using observables. During these sessions, we will develop an application and will use all Angular 2.0 building blocks to build the application. We will create a single page application to list different dishes with all information and will create a dish filter to filter information. For getting started with Angular 2.0 with Bootstrap, you should have some knowledge on HTML, CSS, basic JavaScript, and any object-oriented language. Not required much. Basic experience of working with Angular 1.x will be beneficial, but is definitely not required. Here we will be writing code in TypeScript. It's nothing new. You will enjoy writing code, as it's more like declaring classes and initializing variables in constructors, so basic JavaScript experience will be helpful. By the end of the course, you should be confident with starting to build your own Angular 2 components and how to develop, test, and deploy them to a product environment. I think we've got quite a good overview and are ready to build some cool stuff with the latest cutting-edge technology from Google. So let's begin our journey together, and I hope to see you there.